Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and in this video, I'll show you how to create and configure shape keys for Blockbuster's OBJ models. In this tutorial, I'll be using latest version of Blockbuster, which is 2.3, Blockbuster's dependencies, that is MacLib and Metamorph, and Blender 2.8, but in theory Cinema 4D can be used as well. I'll also assume that you know how to import OBJ models, if you don't, then watch my other tutorials regarding OBJ model loading, because this tutorial isn't for beginners. Shape Keys is a feature of Blockbuster's OBJ model loader, which allows you to transform OBJ models in game. The way it works is, you create different versions of your OBJ model, then you export the base model to OBJ as usually. Meanwhile, the different versions you export into Models Shapes folder, as separate OBJ files using the same export configuration as base model. The file name of a shape key, exported as OBJ into Shapes folder, is the key that will be used in Shape Key Editor. Once both versions are exported, you can edit the transformation between shape keys, and the base model, in the Morphs Pose Editor. Right click on the list, to add a shape key. Let's go over fields. Shape keys factor allows to determine how much will this shape key will be transformed into, from the base model. Factor 0 will be no transformations applied, factor 1 will be full transition into the shape key, and factor minus 1 will be an inverse version of full transition. The factor value is not limited to a range between minus 1 and 1, and can go above and beyond in both directions. Relative toggle allows to apply transformation between shape keys relatively. For example, if there are multiple shape keys, and last shape key has relative toggle disabled, then it will fully override the transformation of previous shape keys to its own. If you have multiple shape keys, you can also drag around those, to change the order in which shape keys are being applied. Shape keys support animation similar to animated poses, where you can enable animates, and it will transition from one shape key configuration to another. When editing different shape keys, keep in mind that you can change not only the position of geometry, but also UV coordinates. If you're clever about it, you can achieve interesting effects. Well, that's pretty much it about shape keys. However, here are a couple of things that you need to understand before using shape keys, their limitations, so to say. 1. Don't use shape keys feature with really big models. Shape keys are transformed on CPU, so unless you have a NASA PC, you should be very cautious of how many vertices are there in a model, which you're going to use with shape keys. Here is a demonstration with a model, that has hundreds of thousands of vertices, and a shape key. As you can see, even without shaders it drastically drops frame rate. Here is the same model that doesn't have shape keys, no problems with frame rate. And, second very important thing that needs to be known before using shape keys, is that you can't add or remove vertices to the shape keys OBJ model. The base model and shape keys model should have exact same amount of vertices quads, or triangles. Meaning, the only thing that should be different is the actual positions, normals, and texture coordinates. This segues into the next point. You can't use triangulate faces export option when exporting the base, or shape key models, because triangulate faces doesn't export the geometry in the same order every time. This will happen if you'll export both base model, and shape key model, with triangulate faces option. If your model has n gons, then you need to manually triangulate the model, and only then work on shape keys. That's pretty much it. Shape keys is an amazing feature that you can use for cool OBJ model transformations. There are so many possible uses for that. Have fun experimenting, and ka ciao.